going to deliver access for Asawaju Tinubu to win the 2023 presidential election, Asari Dukubo. And these are the people that claim to be on the side of the youth. I mean, apart from Asari Dukubo, there have also been members or a number of other people, um, like Deja Dianju, for example, even Reno Mokri, who in, in previous in previous events, in like, for example, NSAS, and other you know, events that have to do with fighting for justice, they pretend because it's pretend they pretend to be on the side of the youth they pretend to be on the side of the youth and then elections were now seeing people's true colors because it really is i mean we were we are going to have a, a major change in, in a lot of relationships and i'm not even saying that because even in past elections that you know politics has gone into friendships and personal relationships but i think in this case it would be so it would be worse with with buhari coming into office and then just pushing tribalism to a whole different level and division just just widespread more than ever this can cause even more division this whole situation because it's now so much pressure on the youth the youth and it's just this you know narrative that all oh, the youth are the ones who change so, uh-uh. ideally now do you, do you see the the work you've put the youth in the youth are meant to come into a system that is already established and their duty is to sustain and maintain and improve on a working established society. But now you're, you're saying oh, you're putting pressure on the youth to build and sustain. In what generation? We're talking the youth that has not even been fully, fully transferred into the labor market, into the, into the skilled professional market. We're talking about the aspect of Nigeria the sector that would build that would manufacture that would that would build that infrastructure this is where development occurs with nigerian professionals and it's like the youth that that, that are being trained that don't have the, the proper experience that are going to the labor market with no jobs you're putting pressure on them to build and sustain and improve in how many years this work that we need to improve Nigeria is everybody's work. We all have to work together. Everybody has a role to play. But I think what is even more shocking is because Tinubu has not come out to give reasons or to even compete. And I guess it's the confidence that he has been in this space for so long and his name being up there where, you know, for him, the mentality could be, why should I have to go and prove to Nigeria that he should vote for me? Because again, apart from campaigns, there is really nothing else he may feel he has to prove to Nigerians. And so, on what basis do people like Asari Dokobo and other other youth youth activists, what grounds do they have to feel that Tinubu is a better candidate? I am yet to see. Because then there's the narrative that Peter B supporters are the ones who have been aggressive with who they want to be president. This is a problem. This is a problem. Of course, Asari Dokobo has come out to talk about Peter B and he literally calls him a scam. <laughs> and says he's a scam in Anambra State. He alludes to the fact that and what he what he did in Anambra was literally nothing. Why? Because Anambra is an advantageous state. This man, if you listen to him speak, he he throws in he throws in Im, uh, implied implied um comments that are very divisive. I mean, when it comes to divisive tactics, I've not seen... I mean, this country and, and some of, the, of its people that claim to be activists and politicians, the way they've perfected the art of establishing division with what they say. And the thing is, you can't really hold them accountable for it. Why? Because explicitly what they have said is a plain sentence that is saying what it is saying. But then the implied meaning makes one think to question the other party they're fighting against. I mean, this is a proper battle going in Nigeria. Well, let's see. The former president of the Ijo Youth Council while speaking in a live Facebook session um, described Aswaju as the best candidate that can change things around for Nigeria. I would deliver. I am for Aswaju. Mark my word. I would deliver in excess. He has shown capacity. How? Nobody can challenge him. Why? He has the capacity to change things around. Who said there is no person as good as Aswaru Tinubu Asari Dokubo said. And he went further to challenge people that are expressing doubts 
on the former Lagos governor's health conditions to stop. He said many people are facing one health problem or the other, including him. They said he's sick. Is sickness a problem? Look at a train of reason. Look at look at somebody's logic and claims to be for the Ijo youth. Is sickness a problem? No, it's not a problem. In fact, it's perfect. It's great. Great for somebody that's mentally the country. And with the experience that we have of Buhari being sick and the amount of times he traveled outside the country to get treatment where he, he will leave the country and it's like we have no president and he literally pretend as if... It's crazy, right? It is crazy. I mean, even PDP, your opponents have come out to say that he's in France and they say that they want, they want him to get well, meaning that he's not well, but they say they want him to get well so they can roast him electorally. That is the words your opponents have used, PDP. One of your spokespersons, they said it. So what will happen now? And I think this constant betrayal, because I think those that claim to stand for something and are not, it's like you're betraying youth every single time when you give out notions like this. And it makes you part of the people we're fighting against. Because pushing out logic like that, I mean, again, what can you say? If Tinubu can have supporters, this man also can have supporters as well. So, pushing such narratives is sickness a problem. I mean, what do you do if you're not careful? You'd actually run mad in a country like Nigeria and it would take so much intention and purpose and will to make things work. First comment, Asari Dokubo is a lunatic and nobody should take him serious. He's just broke and is expecting some gratifications from Tinubu. Can you see what this animal is saying? After all the support and votes Igbo's gave to his kinsman, good luck, Jonathan. I mean, you are making sense until the last. <laughs> this comment was literally, you know, spot on until the last sent- uh, sentence. I mean, what does what does it matter? What does it matter if Igbo's gave support to Glock Jonathan? This is the problem, and this is why sentiment and identity politics would always. Hinge on Nigerians and Nigerians always feel guilty because you know that the reason why you voted in the past was not because of competence but because you felt for your why and I think that guilt will not go over a lot of people's heads but the way you can turn around that guilt is to now change is to change because for the fact that we, we have a history I mean again it would take it doesn't take what it's not going to take a, a year or like a month or a day to change Nigeria from where it is but for the fact that you yourself, you know yourself, you've been voting based on sentiment. You know you've been voting based on this person from this place. So yes, you will feel guilty. And you should feel guilty because you did not vote based on confidence, on competence. Now that you know better, you should know what to do. But then if you're following logic and narratives that people like Asar Dokubo push into the atmosphere, then it is on you. Put what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.